so not going to nose yet. So in this Borinja band, you know, five smooth basses, looks like. Kidney's updates, compound because first DeFi project with over 10 billion total value rocked. Amazing, great success. Then the point is you know, how the price reacted with this news is this one. It's like this way. Comp USDT for a chart, daily chart. Right before the that news, compound price is British on like this way. And then eventually you get a mark $562 on April 4th. And then actually this price is our all-time high. All-time high is this one, February 8th, 533. So this one is kind of bullish trend here. So this price is this price here, okay? Now, about four chart basis, I still see the potential about the you know, next bullish move here based on the Bollinger Band basis. Because, you know, once you look at the here and here, on the Bollinger Band basis, usually before the bullish breakout, all the time, trend converging is happening here. Then we're gonna price move like this way. So same you know, formation is happening here. So still, so still, I see the certain level of potential about bridge breakout. And then this is price bottom line here, 322. Once we're gonna go to daily chart here, 322, this price line works like support line here. But since price volatility of the comp is higher than Bitcoin, so we have to see some you know, price range here, like this way, okay? Once we're gonna pay attention to KDJ here on a daily basis, still the short term trend on purple line going to south. So not going to north yet. So in this Bollinger Band you know, price move basis, looks like comp price trying to keep upper trend on middle price line of this Bollinger Band here, but might hitting lower side again based on KDJ here. And then later market updates, DeFi stablecoin and lending. All right, any market updates, total TVL 25.65 billion plus 5.4%. Make it out 8.18 billion plus 5.1%. Plus Compound 10.07 billion plus 9%. Ave 5.66 billion minus 2.1%. Instead of 2.66 billion plus 1.5%. So still compound is leading this market. It's amazing. Then stable coin market key stats updates. DAI, TerraUSD, and USDT. DAI, active address, 8,000. Terra, no data. USDT, 85,000. Transaction volume, 24 hours. DAI, 194 million. TerraUSD, 49 million. USDT, 118 billion. Total circulation supply, DAI 3 billion, Terra USD 1.7 billion, USDT 44 billion. Okay? The next one, Butcher. So Butcher they are partnered with Fireblocks for institutional Bitcoin in DeFi. Here's the key message. We are excited to announce a strategic partnership between Fireblocks and Butcher DAO to enable Fireblocks 200 plus institutional clients to securely hold bunch of assets on their platform, put their Bitcoin to work for the asset management. This is great news because Fireblocks provide custodial solutions for the institutional clients. Then, as I told you many times, you know, next big move of the asset market is how they can attract institutional money for the crypto space asset management staff. And BudgetDAO is really actively working on to attract those money here. This news is quite bullish for the BudgetDAO. Then what about the price actions? For a chart basis and daily chart basis. And with this news, we're gonna experience this bridge trend like this way. But for a chart basis, there is no so critical item that we need to analyze here. But once we go to daily chart basis, as you can see here, price 
you know, moving to south on the British trend for a while, and then once they're gonna hitting the 34.1, gradually price will be coming like this way. And the good news is, you know, EM8 and EM34 is converging like this way. This is kind of good signal that, you know, price bottom is forming on the budget down price. And also, this trend formation is also looks like a flat formation too. So once the budget down price experiences bullish breakout like this way, budget down moving to the next bull run, okay? And then later market update news. Refinance aim to simplify defined investment through basket protocol. So leaf baskets are the ideal tool for the passive investor who may not wish to spend time researching and, and curating his own portfolio of tokens. Picking the winner is objectively highly defined and leaf basket combined with the smart engine simplifies the investment process. This is kind of a great challenge on the DeFi space, especially because currently, you know, asset management market, you have to allocate your crypto assets, you know, based on the boats, each crypto asset boats, or ease of Bitcoin, just like that. But leave finance this approach, it's just like, you know, ETF, exchange traded fund or mutual fund, like portfolio based stats, how these solutions can solve the friction cost about the DeFi space, especially for retail investor who got across in the chasm. So that is why I'm seriously paying attention to the market developments of this news, okay? Next one, Cream Finance. Key news updates. Cream Finance launches closed protocol flash loans. So key takeaways. Cream Finance's Iron Bank will enable protocol to protocol flash loans. And Binance Smart Chain and Phantom user will also be able to leverage flash loans through the protocol. And flash loans are one of the defined most radical innovations, but they are being by devising right now. This is kind of a great challenge because the flash loan business still a lot of hacking risk. But cross and transaction is the next key growth driver on the DeFi space. So that is why one thing that successfully build the attractions on a cross-chain protocol for the flash loan business stuff, you're gonna take the market initiative on the next developments. So, I also seriously pay attention to the new market developments of these solutions, okay? Then, what are price reactions on the Cream USDT? Daily chart and weekly chart. Daily chart basis, again, it's kind of same reaction and as usual, we're gonna see on the Bollinger Band. So, before the bullish breakout, you know, the trend is combining like this way. Then, here, also trend is combining like this way, and then hitting the bridge side on a daily chart basis. So we might see some next bull run with this trend. Once we're gonna move to weekly chart basis, there is also two positive signs. First one is this one. On the Bollinger Band basis, middle line on this Bollinger Band, walking just like a support line on this trend move. So this is good. And also once we're gonna move to KDJ here, it's a little bit of a slow move here, but short term trend line, popping right here, gradually hitting over the middle trend and long term trend line here. So this is also another bullish signal on the market, okay? And then later market updates, define asset market. So asset market updates, total TVL 2.92 billion plus 2.8%. Best for 2.92 billion plus 81%. Budget out 988 million plus 9.3%. Rendium 723 million plus 7.1%. Young Finance, looks like they are under construction about the data curriculum stuff, so no update this week, okay? Best for still leading this market you know, these days. And then SNX, China analysis, daily chart and weekly chart. Kind of same price move these days still. So after price corrections, combining trend is forming on a volume on a basis still, and these formations usually happening about the, before the bridge breakout here. So this is also a good signal. And once we're going to move to weekly chart basis, on the KDJ, still white space between short term trend and the middle and the long term trend here. So it's a little bit bearish. Price volatility is still literally high, but it looks like an EMA8 green line here. Looks like a function like support line of this price move. Then later market updates, define different decks and insurance. So, daily market updates. Total TVL, 2.84 billion, minus 1.8%. Best for 
CCDX plus 2.2 billion minus 3.6%. Nexus Mutual 348 million plus 5.3%. Hezik plus 59 million minus 7%. Only Nexus Mutual made some progress on the market developments this week. Okay? Also, another related market updates, Decentral CDN. So, no development updates. April 11th, Seattle, Edge Node, plus 14%. Great. Helium Hotspot, plus 3.6%. It's also good. Ethereum, Ether, minus 50%. It's kind of an interesting move. And then Filecoin, Blade, Dent, no updates. Okay? Alright, so last slide. So, the HODL is the best for retail investor to minimize the risk and the mass market return. Because investment in altcoin, just like investment in early days of Google and Facebook. Once we can look at the legendary angel investor, such as Long Conway, Peter Thiel, Lee Hoffman's, all the time they're going to take the simple investment approach. It's long-term investment. Then here's another evidence for the Binance research. It's a Bitcoin case, but the longest holder of the Bitcoin must find the investment return. In this case, it's plus 220% return compared with short-term holder here. So I'm going to also take the long-term investment approach. So I'm going to also recommend you guys to take the same approach too. Okay? Alright, so that is all this time. So I'm going to make this video for the educational purpose. So I'm not going to guarantee you any kind of certain level of investment outcome with this video or any other video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will practically help you guys understand about high potential of the crypto and blockchain space. So I'm going to make lots of in this video on crypto and blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.